guys. So today I have a tutorial for you on my fall smoky eye. It's really pretty actually. I like it a lot. So let's get into it. So I'm using my um, my 88 neutral palette. But if you have I any mean, use colors in like separate palettes or anything, they'll work perfectly fine. So first I'm just going to start off with a primer. And I'm just using my homemade primer. You can use any primer that you want. My face looks really washed out. It's not cool. Okay, so let's just put this on our eye. So what you want to start off with doing is using a color similar to this one right here. Kind of just any shimmery gold color. If you have a darker skin tone as well, you are going to want to use a darker color for sure. And you just want to place that in the inner corners of your eye. just like that and then what you want to do is you want to take kind of a matte dark brown color I'm taking this one right here and using the same brush I'm just going to apply it next to it and kind of overlap them make sure you tap off any excess powder that's on the brush because you don't want to overdo it And then just kind of flip the brush over and then push it into your crease. Start going like that and then lifting it up. Just like that. And you don't want to blend in too much because you are going to be adding another color over top of it, which is going to help blend it out. Because if you blend it too much, it will kind of just fade the brown and you're not going to see it as much. So now I'm just going to take a tapered blending brush. This is Sigma's E40. Any big fluffy brush will kind of work. And I'm going to take these two colors right here. I want to make kind of a burgundy color. So those two colors right there will be perfect. One's kind of a deep burgundy and the other's kind of like a more cherry light burgundy. So I just kind of want to mix those together to make the perfect burgundy. Top off the excess and then blend it lightly into your crease. the excess and then wipe it off on your wrist just so you don't get any extra pigment that you don't need. And then start blending it out. Just follow your crease line when you're blending it. That makes it a lot easier. Because I know some people don't know how to blend. They're like, oh my goodness, what do I do? But I know, I understand, trust me. So it should look a little bit like this now. So you have the gold, and then the brown will be covered up a little bit, and then you have the burgundy that you created over top. And now what you're going to do is you're going to go back to the original brush you were using for the brown, and then kind of just pack it over it so you can see it again. And don't take any extra pigment, though, unless you need to, because you don't want to overpower it again. Tap off your fluffy brush, and then just blend like that lightly. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a another kind of fluffy brush like this. And I'm going to take a shimmery white, but I don't want it to be perfectly white. I'm going to take an off-white shimmer. And I'm just going to apply that to my brow bone. And I'm going to apply the same color to my inner corners, just for a highlight. And then down on the outer, lower lash line too. Now taking a dome brush or a pencil brush will work too. This is Sigma's E30. I'm going to go into the gold I first used. Tap it off and then put it on my lower lash line. 
Then I'm going to go into the burgundy that I created and I'm going to put that on the outer corner. Now you're going to go into the dark brown that you used and then you're going to apply that to the middle of your lower lash line. Just like that. Now if you need to, just take a q-tip and clean up any extra pigment that has fallen down or anything. Kind of clean up the edges and then apply your eyeliner Max fluid line in black and I'm just using a MAC 266 brush we line my lash line just like that so nothing too dramatic because you don't want to take away from the beautifulness that sounds kind of weird doesn't it <laughs> You don't want to take away from the look of the smoky eye that you just created. So this is the final look. I, it's definitely a fall look. You, you wouldn't want to wear this in like the summertime. That would just be a bit weird. But um, yeah, I really like this look. I'm going to zoom out now. I think it would suit a lot of different skin tones. Um, so if you like it, let me know. I'm, I really like it actually. I'm, I'm really glad with how it turned out and oh all right and that is it I've already I've already had mascara on so that's why I didn't apply any but you can add any so yeah I'm gonna get out so thanks for watching and um just so you guys know I have a charm factory giveaway coming up soon um so you'll have a chance to win one of the bracelets of your choice so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to hit subscribe and like and tell me your thoughts below so thanks for watching bye